papillomas, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment and prevention of the disease. The skin is the body's protective cloak. The thin, multi-layered cover resists a variety of diseases. It reacts to both external, exogenous, factors and internal, endogenous, troubles. Disruption of the normal functioning of the skin can manifest in numerous symptoms. Sometimes we can observe small formations protruding on the surface of the skin. What is it and what is the reason for its occurrence? What are papillomas? Papillomas, warts, grow on the epithelium of the skin and mucous membranes. Most of these formations are benign and can only cause an aesthetic defect and discomfort when located on traumatic areas. Why do papillomas occur? The cause is the human papilloma virus, HPV, a large group of viruses with more than 100 strains. Most of them are not oncogenic, but strains such as 16, 18, and 31, 33, 35, 39, 45, 51, 52 are the most dangerous in terms of oncological prognosis. Because of the high number of HPV strains and the possible asymptomatic course, now it is impossible to say what proportion of people are infected with HPV. However, researchers suggest that the figure is considerable and reaches up to 90% of the population. Several factors can activate HPV and cause clinical manifestations, immunodeficiency, non-observance of the rules of personal hygiene, frequent trauma to a certain area hormonal imbalance, The presence of papillomas in relatives is a sign not only of a genetic predisposition, but also simply a factor of close contact and infection with the virus. Bad Habits and Others Papilloma Symptoms A person can be a carrier of the virus, without even knowing about its existence in the body. Due to the influence of certain external and internal factors, HPV disease begins to manifest on the human skin. Papillomas are characterized by small, single or multiple skin outgrowths in the form of a bump on a pedicle. They can tend to merge. However, it can range from brown to light pink. They can be mobile when touched. Often these papillomas have a thin stem. These formations are often traumatized and damaged. Sedentary growths have a wide base and are denser in consistency and are resistant to damage. The location of papillomas can be all over the body and face. However, the most common localizations are, armpits, eyelids, neck, genital organs, chest area. These are the most traumatic sites for the skin and frequent damage can induce papillomas to become inflamed and multiply. What's worse, microflora can join the inflammatory process and cause even more discomfort. Clinical features depend on the type of wart, the most common of which are, common, vulgar, a common type, especially among children. The clinical signs are small cauliflower growths with numerous papillae on the surface. Planter, can be either single or multiple. Are flat, resemble significant thickening of the skin. Flat, multiple and small. Most often located on the face. HPV genital lesions are quite dangerous. The virus can cause genital warts. Worse, it is the oncogenic effect of HPV that has been proven, and it is the genitals that are often exposed to this effect. Internal papillomas can cause many problems. By themselves, they often do not have a negative pathogenic effect. However, putting pressure on neighboring structures, they can disrupt their function. Airway obstruction is especially dangerous. When should you see a doctor? As we noted, papillomas are benign neoplasms and mostly do not harm the body. However, situations may arise that require a professional assessment of a doctor, bleeding, constant pain, the presence of pus significant cosmetic defect constant trauma to papillomas, for example, as a result of cutting with a razor or rubbing clothes. Change in color, shape of formations, a progressive increase in their number etc. Diagnostic methods Papilloma is a clinical diagnosis. 
It is diagnosed after examination by a doctor and based on a clinical picture. Additionally, a specialist may prescribe a PCR to determine the type of virus and the level of viral load. To exclude a malignant process, a biopsy is required, followed by pathological verification. Papilloma Treatment Methods In mild cases, the doctor may prescribe the use of skin medications. Nevertheless, the most effective method of treatment is the destruction of the pathological focus in one of the following ways. Excision, a surgical method of treatment in which the affected area is carved. Using a laser, a procedure that destroys a wart using high-energy light. Cryotherapy or tissue freezing with a stream of liquid nitrogen electrocoagulation, a point effect on the affected area using an electric current. We keep repeating that self-medication can be hazardous to health. The use of folk remedies, self-excision, circumcision and shaving of papillomas can lead to the addition of a bacterial infection, an increase in inflammation, and growth of formations. Disease Prevention Prevention of papillomas is to reduce the risk of infection and clinical manifestations if the virus is already in the body. You need to follow simple tips, observe the rules of personal hygiene rejection of bad habits protected sex. HPV Vaccination Papillomas in Dogs and Cats How did my pet develop a papilloma tumor? Your dog or cat has been infected with one of these papilloma viruses. All animals and people carry many viruses asymptomatically, without any clinical signs. However, pets with immature immune systems such as young dogs and puppies, and those that are immunocompromised, have a reduced ability to fight infections, are more prone to developing papilloma warts. Papilloma viruses can survive for long periods in the environment. Papilloma viruses are very resistant to adverse conditions and can survive for long periods in the environment outside an animal. The virus is transmitted through direct contact from an infected pit or the pet's environment, for example, toys, food and water bowls, and bedding, and gain access to the body when the skin becomes softened by moisture, through cuts and abrasions, or with the assistance of ticks or biting insects, for example, fleas, mosquitoes. What are the clinical signs of papillomas? Papillomas may appear as multiple oral, mouth, papillomas in young dogs, solitary cutaneous, skin, papillomas in dogs of any age, venereal, genital, papillomas, eyelid or conjunctival papillomas, and fibropapillomas. There are different viruses associated with different sites and in young and old animals. The lesions are usually in flame polyps, warts, but they may be flat, scaly plaques, or inward growing hard masses. They may ulcerate, break open, and bleed. Papillomas that grow inwardly may cause pain, particularly if they are on the feet. In dogs, these tumors are most common on the feet or around and in the oral cavity. In cats, papillomas are usually flat, plaque-like, and sometimes skinny. There may be one or more lesions, usually on the head, neck or limbs. There is also a fibropapilloma or sarcoid in cats caused by a subtype of papilloma virus. These are very rare and appear as one or more nodular masses usually on the head, neck, ventral abdomen, and limbs. How are papillomas diagnosed? Most papillomas have a typical appearance, although some of the more common sebaceous tumors in dogs are very similar. In order to obtain a definitive diagnosis, your veterinarian may perform a fine needle aspiration FNA. FNA involves taking a small needle with a syringe and suctioning a sample of cells directly from the tumor and placing them on a microscope slide. A veterinary pathologist then examines the slide under a microscope. In some cases, results from FNA may not be entirely clear and a biopsy may be necessary. A biopsy is the surgical excision of a piece of the tumor. In the case of papillomas, which tend to be small, the entire tumor may be removed. The tumor tissue is then examined by a veterinary pathologist under the microscope. This is called histopathology. How do papillomas typically progress? In healthy animals, 
papillomas do not spread to other areas of the body and are usually cured by surgery. Rarely, a tumor will regrow after surgery. If the viral infection persists because of an impaired immune system, additional papillomas may develop. What are the treatments for this type of tumor? Some papillomas will regress within 1-2 to two months because the animal develops immunity to it. However, some dogs have persistent tumors. The usual treatment is surgical removal. In cats, papillomaviruses are associated with certain cancers, for example, squamous cell carcinoma. Surgery is usually advised. In humans, a topically applied immune-modifying agent that stimulates interferon production has successfully been used to treat papillomavirus lesions. It may have potential use in animals. Is there any special care that I should provide to my pet? It is important to prevent your pet from rubbing, scratching, licking, or biting the papilloma, s, all of which can cause inflammation, ulceration, infection, and bleeding. Any ulcerated, open, area needs to be kept clean. It is important to prevent your pet from rubbing, scratching, licking, or biting the papilloma, s, all of which can cause inflammation, ulceration, infection, and bleeding. After surgery, you will need to keep the incision site clean and dry and prevent your pet from rubbing, licking, biting, or scratching at it. Report any loss of sutures or significant swelling or bleeding to your veterinarian. If you require additional advice on post-surgical care, please contact your veterinarian. Since papillomas are caused by a virus, are there any risks to my family? No, although this is an infectious tumor, the viruses are species-specific and not transmissible to humans. The tumors in dogs, cats, and people are not related nor are they transmitted between species.